This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by Manny Robles here in Las Vegas. Manny, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. How about yourself? How's Vegas training? It's been good. I'm enjoying the heat, but it's been wearing me down a little bit. That's right. Well, welcome to, welcome to the, this neck of the woods, man. Welcome to the heat. It certainly is very hot, but obviously let's get on to the card and obviously your fight first and foremost, Carlos Castro. Talked about the camp, how have things gone? Everything's great. You know, Carlos Castro uh, will be debuting in, uh, for PBC and on a great card, you know, be the opening bout on TV, a pay-per-view card, and uh, we're excited about it. Uh, excited about being here in such a great card, uh, fighting under Manny Pacquiao, and it's going to be great. How big of an opportunity is this for Carlos to really make a statement, as you mentioned, on the undercard of Manny Pacquiao, for what may be his last fight, as people have said? Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity. As I said, we're thankful for it, and we're going to make sure we take advantage of the opportunity and uh, of being here and, and, and fighting on such a such a great card uh, and you know fighting what could be Manny Pacquiao's last fight. As we know, uh, Oscar Escandon is the man in the opposite corner to your your man. What should you expect from him? What should everybody expect in this fight? Uh, he's coming to fight. Oscar Escandon is known for coming to fight. You know, he's uh, uh, coming in full speed ahead, man. He's going to come in looking for a fight, looking to get get that knockout. He's an ex uh, a fan-friendly fighter. He doesn't take a step back. He's just going to come forward and, and, and try to bring it. So we got to be ready for it. Carlos said to me earlier the plan will be if Saturday goes uh, well and he's successful the Figaro Fulton winner firstly just your thoughts on that fight what do you think will happen between uh, Brandon Figaro and Stephen Fulton well it's going to be a great fight uh, 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 I think uh, you know it's uh, uh, you know Fulton being a boxer and then Figaro being a banger it's going to be interesting you know, we'll see who who's able to do what who who's able to adjust better if uh, Fulton is able to outbox Figueroa for 12 rounds or, or if Figueroa can, can figure him out and get on the inside and look for a knockout, it's going to be it's gonna be great. And with Carlos saying that as well, are you confident that he's ready now for the world scene? I believe so. I, you know, his record says it all and I believe uh, uh, his, he's paid his dues and this is a great opportunity for him uh, uh, being on this, uh, uh, on this card and, you know, people are going to get to know him and see what he's capable of and you know you know hopefully get an opportunity to fight for the world title in the future manage get your thoughts on a few other topics let's start off with that headline fight manny pacquiao your denny's ugas ugas stepping in on late notice mm -hmm. because of an unfortunate eye injury to errol spence jr but firstly just your thoughts on it pacquiao ugas break it down for me please manny absolutely well dude, a lot of people might, might might or might not know that ugas was already set uh, scheduled to fight on the undercard of uh he was actually the co-main event to this to this card and uh it was it's just funny how things work out, man. It's destiny how, you know, uh, uh, Errol Spence had to pull out from a detached retina. And we, I, my fighter, uh, uh, Fabian Maidana, was scheduled to fight Ugas, and he suffered a cut in the gym. So that left us with Ugas versus Manny Pacquiao. It's just, you know, it's just one of them situations uh, where, where Ugas is going to have to step up to the plate and fight uh, Pacquiao. But I believe it's going to be a great fight. I mean, I knew we were going to have our hands full fighting Ugas. Ugas is a, a, a good fight. He's not your typical Cuban fighter. Uh, he's a fighter that brings it. He's a fighter that comes to fight, that doesn't take a step back. And he's going to give Manny Pacquiao a run for his money. People have spoken about the, the lack of activity for Manny over the last couple of years and the fact that he's 42. Do you think people are reading into reading into that too much or are they right to do so? I don't know. I just, we'll, we'll see. You know, I mean, uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao has got plenty of experience. He's been around the block a couple of times. You know, he's fought some of the best fighters in the world. And so I'm, I'm quite certain that he'll be able to adjust despite the time off the ring. And, and uh, you know, like I said, and then Ugas, I don't take anything away from him. I do believe it's going to be an interesting fight for as long as it lasts because, it, 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 you know, I, I can, I, I think, I, I believe it will go by decision, but I, I, I do believe uh, there will be a winner and that winner will be Manny Pacquiao. Is this the last time we see Manny in the ring? Definitely not. Definitely not. He, he, I, don't, I don't think this will be Manny Pacquiao's last fight. Uh, I think Manny Pacquiao wants to go out fighting the best, and the best being someone like Errol Spence or, or, or Crawford, or I mean, it, it, it doesn't end. There's always going to be a, 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 a new face in boxing, a new star, but um, I just don't believe Manny Pacquiao can just walk away and, I, I, uh, and, and make this his last fight. I just think that we'll, we'll, we're going to continue. I want to continue to. I want to see Manny Pacquiao fight forever, but I, I don't. I don't see him being his last fight. Definitely not.
Just a final one to touch on. Charles Martin, um, we've seen him have some interactions with Dillian White over social media. Is that what you guys think could happen? I don't know. I speak to the promoters. Uh, all I do is coach and get my fighter ready, man. I just stay in my lane and if that fight comes up, then I'll get my fight, you know, I'll get my guy ready. I'll get Charles ready to make make sure that he's 100% and, and ready to go. But it's, it's an, it, it, I don't make the decisions. I mean, there's, I got to stay in my lane. Like I said, speak to, speak to Eddie and uh, people at PBC. And if they can make that happen, then great. As his coach, for Manny, is it a fight you'd like to see? If so, what would happen? Absolutely. Absolutely. I like, I, I like an opportunity for Charles to fight someone like Dylan White, man. Dylan White is definitely one of the best heavyweights in the world. And at this level, there's no such thing as an easy fight. But this is what we this is what we work for. This is what fighters fight for is to to be at this level and to get an opportunity to for the for the audience and, and the fans to, to display their talents. Right, Manny will leave up there now because I think we're about to get kicked out. So I appreciate yeah, your time. Right. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social once again. Thank you very much for having me.